Welcome back everyone to Beyond Reality. So, I've done a lot of exploring. Let's see, can I view my map from here? Yeah, kind of. Uh, let's, let's go up here so we see everything properly. So, I think yesterday I went up to the northwest here and just went way, way up here. And no new coal veins. No new diamonds, nothing like that. Uh, found a ski light ore which has tungsten in it, so that, that's something that's worth marking. And the mule marker, I, I can safely delete that. That's just in case I lost my mule. I went down to explore whatever that dungeon is right there. Let's see. Oh, well, there's actually like multiple entrances to it. I didn't notice that at the time. I might go back there and explore it some more, but it's a, a long ride to get over there. I don't know why I've got a few holes in my map here where there shouldn't be holes. There's like a, a weird border around my area. I don't know what caused that. I did actually find one pretty nice thing, though. Take a look at this. I got this from a haunted tool, and I actually got an achievement for there's an achievement for slaying a diamond haunted tool. And I got an axe. And we could macerate that into diamond dust, but... Uh, yeah. But if we use a hammer, we can get all three diamonds out of it. Wow. <laughs> so, I am about to have three diamonds. I don't know what I'm going to use them for. But it's good to know I'm about to have some for a change. Come on, you can't do that, right? Oh, don't tell me that there's some trick to it. No. Can you not? I guess you can't use, like, iron level hammers. That has to be something that can break diamond, I bet. I bet that's how it is. Let's see. Is there any way I can, like, uh, is there any other kind of tool I can hammer, like this? Sapphire axe, no? What about stone? Is there any way to like hammer this? No? Okay, oh, Blood Moon. Great. Well, at least I'm at home. The Blood Moon, I actually did figure out what it does a while back. It uh, causes monsters to spawn more frequently. It, I guess it raises the spawn cap and it prevents you from sleeping. So, right now it says I can only sleep at night, but if I try it again in a minute, it'll say you don't feel tired, or something like that. So, uh, what, what can I do with this diamond axe? Huh. It says hammer. Normally anything that says hammer means that you can just craft it with a hammer, but... I guess since it's a diamond tool, the iron hammer won't work. I don't, I don't know. I think there's also some kind of hammering machine. Steam forge hammer, high pressure forge hammer. I don't know if either of these would work. I might try it. What does an anvil cost? Pretty much the same as it normally would. Okay. Alright, so you can see on the mini-map now, there are a lot more mobs than there normally would be. And what? I thought you couldn't sleep on a blood moon. Well, that was weird. Uh, the mod pack ac actually has updated since I last recorded. So, hmm. Maybe that's a new bug? I don't know. Very weird. Either way, I wonder what actually can... I actually don't know what can break like obsidian in great tech. And I think there's a way you can make uranium tools, as weird as that sounds, using the IC2 uranium, so I'm kind of tempted to try that out. Let's see. Bunch of toast. Toast is always good. So 
I'll just smelt up a few uranium here. I know I've seen someone in a video, he made a uranium pickaxe in order to mine diamonds. So let's just, let's just try making a uranium hammer. It, it does say it is a level 3 tool, as opposed to the iron, which is only level 2. Let's see. Can you break down the axe? No. Okay. Well, we have another hammer to use, at least. That's a good thing. Okay, I'm gonna make this steam forge hammer and try it out. Um, we seem to have a small problem here. Stuff is not doing stuff. Why is that? It's probably an, because an update broke it or something. Uh, I don't know if it's safe to remove this pipe. I'm gonna hope it is. Okay, so I'm gonna try removing the pipes. What? Did I not get all of them back, or did some of them go in the hopper? Yeah, they went in the hopper. Okay, now do you work? No, you still don't work. Okay, now it works. Ow, that's loud. Oh, I hate that sound. Okay, well that was weird. Okay, here we go. Steam Forge Hammer. So let's get this installed. I think I'll wrap the machine line around the wall. So I'll just pick up this extractor bring the pipe over like so and uh, it's not very pretty is it ouch should probably have that line uh, the pipe below the floor but for now we'll just move everything around like this so that that's the hammer Okay, I actually want that over here. No particular reason. Extractor, compressor. Okay, let's try this. Oh, I hope it's working. What? Come on. You can do it. Come on, what are you doing wrong? Is it just not getting enough steam because of the macerator? Oh, we can dump some of our steam reservoir into the pipe. Maybe that'll get it picked up. Okay, it's trying. Let's actually stop the macerator. Does this thing just use, like, a lot of power? A lot of steam? Because this is kind of ridiculous. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll stop recording and come back later when this finishes, hopefully. Okay, so what I think is happening is this thing needs um, to complete its operation all in one go, so uh, let's hope it can do it this time. Oh, there it goes. Well, 
What? How long is this going to take? I hope my steam supply can keep up. Oh, there we go. Three diamonds. I, I, I don't even know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I finally have three diamonds. Uh, this is this makes the total number of diamonds I've gotten on this mod pack five. And none of them have come from mining. <laughs> They've all come from killing things. <laughs> Which makes no sense at all to me. I don't understand it. Ah, oh, well, whatever. Finally, have some diamonds stockpiled. So I'm going to go tuck these away in a very safe location in my s little storage building house thing. Right here. <sighs> that's a lot of work. Just for three diamonds. But I guess that's how this mod pack is. I, I don't understand how this chameleon is moving. I, I thought I told him to stay, but he moves around a little bit on his own. Only when I'm not looking, though. Very, very curious. Oh, now he's the color of the chest. Okay. Oh, this is where I was keeping my extra toast. As well as the stone rod, which I don't know where it came from. Very strange. So, uh, over here I was just actually looking up uses of diamonds, and there's a lot of recipes, but I don't know if it's anything that I need at the moment. Enchanting table, I don't even know if that works on Greg Tech tools or not, and even then I would need to find a way to mine obsidian. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in Minecraft, modded Minecraft, that uses diamonds, which I guess is not really that surprising. Diamond pipes I'd like to have, but they're not worth it at this point. Not unless I find a big vein of diamonds. And even then, there might be some better alternatives. I guess I could use... I was actually thinking about the bees. I, I'm so used to using, like, diamond pipes, apiris pipes, but... I guess we could also use the transfer nodes. Those have the property of inserting into the first inventory they find, I think. So that might be a good way to automate those bees. Oh, another thing I believe I forgot to mention is I switched from the armor status HUD mod to the, uh, oh, I forget what it's called, IC2 backpack, whatever it is. Where's my mule? Where did you go? How did, did you escape? I think that's him. Yeah, that's the mule. Okay. That scared me. You were very valuable, mule. Very, very valuable. Don't leave me, please. I haven't seen him as escape ever. And that horse hasn't escaped in a long time. Very strange. So, what was I saying? I, I, I don't remember. So, this might be a good place to wrap up the episode. It's kind of short, but... I accomplished what I set out to do. I got diamonds from that axe that I kill, uh, that I got by killing a haunted axe. Yeah, <laughs> because that's totally the best way to get gra uh, diamonds in Greg deck. So as always, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and you want to keep up with my videos. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.